Hi there, Jay Marshall here from NMUSD EdTech. Let's look at making changes to rubrics in Schoology. That's right, we're going to look at editing a rubric, copying it, deleting, and saving. So let's get started. When you change an existing rubric, it applies to the rubric and all the materials that use the rubric throughout the course you're in. If you want to change a rubric for a specific item, you should create a new one instead of adjusting that existing one. Changes made to a rubric don't affect copies of that rubric that you have added to other courses. So if you made copies of a, a rubric to different courses, those will not be impacted. Okay, let's look at editing a rubric. There are a couple of ways of doing that. You can get there through the grade setup option or from within an assignment that you've use the rubric. So I'm in an assignment right now. And let's say I want to edit this existing rubric. I can click this little rubric icon and it pulls it up. If I wanted to go in and get rid of any columns, like I want to get rid of this five scale, super excellent. Let's get rid of that. I just hover and click the little X and that will get rid of and the, uh, that column and the points adjust as well. Then you can make your changes. Of course, um, I've copied some info that I can just click and paste. I can paste it in there and I'll do one more just to show you. Okay, so now I'm editing that rubric. If I want to adjust the order, of course, you can grab these lines that looks like a little hamburger, little hamburger button, and I can adjust that. And if I decide that I want to add anything, I can just hover and look at that plus sign. It's waiting for me. Okay, so that's how I can make the changes. Now remember, if I click save, anywhere else within this course will be affected. This rubric is, is going to change in all of those um, materials. So I'm not going to save it for now. Okay, how about copying a rubric and added it to a different course. This is exciting. Let's go to grade setup. And off to the right, you see scales and rubrics. Let's choose rubrics. Oh, wow, look at all those. Holy moly, I've been busy. So now what I can do is I can click the little gear icon. That's one idea. And I can choose copy to course. And then I simply select the course that I'd like to copy it to and choose copy. It's pretty easy. Now, what if I want to copy all of my rubrics from one course into a different course? I would do that as well from grade setup. So I'll go to grade setup. I'm already here. I'll choose rubrics. Here are all of my rubrics. I would select instead of the gears for each one, I go up to copy settings. Once I select copy settings, I decide what I want to copy. Do I want to copy all of these items? Well, maybe not. I just want my rubrics to go from this course to, let's say, my Back to Schoology 4 course. And I select copy. And they're all there. We're really doing it. Now, if you need to delete a rubric, it's in within grade setup, that's the easiest way. Go back to rubrics, and then you have the icon, or the gear icon you can click, and then you can choose delete. That's pretty simple. You cannot delete a rubric that's associated with any graded items though. The delete option will be grayed out on the menu if it's in use already in your course. So keep that in mind. Um, once you've removed the rubric from all of the graded items, you click delete and that will be gone. I'm not going to delete it now, but that's how you do it. And last but not least, how to save a rubric to your resources area. So you go to grade setup again. This is the easiest way to do it. Click on rubrics. There we go. And then you would choose the um, gear icon for whatever one you want to save to resources. And look at that save to resources, and then you can decide where you want it to go. So let's say I want to put it in, um, I don't know, not home. I'll put it in Marshall 2020, 2021. Gosh, that's a tongue twister. And then I will go down here to 
resources and save a copy. So now it's in my resources and it will stay there and um, I can reuse it as much as I want later down the line in a different semester or year. Listen, we just covered a lot of information about rubrics, so hopefully it wasn't too much for you. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at edtech at nmusd.us.